This is Dante Williams. Are you watching? Dante's. 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 Boxing Nation. This is Showtime Sean Paul. Filipino Flash. Jesse Burgess. This is Al Bernstein. You're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. I am sure we're ready to check Shane. Search over the last name, boy. Dante's. 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 Boxing Nation. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder. My name is Gennady Golovkin. And you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Hi, this is Union Jackson, and this is Dante Boxing Nation. This is Julia Jackson, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> All right. Hello, Randy? Yes. You're connected with Dante from Boxing Nation. Okay. How you doing? So you ready to go, Randy? I'm doing good. Ready to go. All right. Dante's Boxing Nation, I'm over here with the undefeated IBF Bantamweight Champion of the World, who will be fighting on the Canelo versus Cotto undercard November 21st at the Mandalay Bay, Randy Cavallero. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Thank you for coming back to the ring. It's been too long. We've been out of the ring, so I uh, can't wait to get back and perform at my best. Yeah. I want to ask you, um, for starters, uh, Randy, how does it feel, man, to be on the second biggest pay-per-view of the year? Canelo versus Cotto. Like, what was your reaction when you first got the call that you were going to be on this card? You know what? It's, it's a great experience. I'm, I'm excited to be on a big, big card like this, you know, especially because of the big rivalry that they have, Mexico versus Puerto Rico. And, you know, being in fact that it's Canelo Cotto, it's, it's a great, great experience for myself being on a big card in front of a lot of people. I'm excited. Uh, can't wait to get back inside the ring and, and, and perform you know, at the top and then let people know who I am that night. But you know, I think this, this fight right here is going to open a lot of doors for me. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, your opponent is Lee Haskins. What do you know about him, his style? Do you know anything about him? You know what? We know he's going to come strong. I don't take nothing away from him. There's a reason he's my mandatory. You know, he trained hard to get where he's at. But um, sorry to say, he's going to have to travel back to his hometown without a title because uh, that title ain't going to know. It's going to stay around through all my ways. And uh, we're ready to grab some other titles on my recaps as well. Uh huh. Now, one thing I do know about Lee Haskins is um, he does have three defeats. Um, I know he has like about six wins in a row, but all of his losses are by knockout. Do you feel there's more pressure on you to knock him out, being on a big stage like this, or just for your reputation? Not at all. No pressure at all. I, mean, I don't see no pressure. But um, like you said, his three losses are all by knockout. And if if that, that's another loss in his record, then I guess we're going to have to go for that knockout. So I'm just like, but uh, no, we're, we're just ready to win. You know, we're ready. We're 100% ready for this fight, for whatever he brings. You know, if the knockout comes, then that's going to be great. But if it goes all 12 rounds, then it's going to be an impressive win by myself. Uh-huh. And I also want to ask you about your near future, because um, obviously, you know, you have an extensive, uh, an extensive amateur pedigree. And I know you want to be, a, you know, pound for pound, one of the best fighters eventually. Now, there is a fighter close to your division. Let's just talk about the, the near future. Uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux, he's looked at as one of the most avoided fighters in the sport of boxing. What do you think about Guillermo Rigondeaux? And do you think you would ever get in the ring with him? Oh, definitely. I, like I said, I, I, I would always say I'll fight anybody. I don't care who it is they put in front of me. My job is to perform 100%, stay ready inside the gym. And whoever they put in front of me, I have to take care of them. And if it's Regan Bell, then so be it. You know, he's, he's a tough, tough guy, very smart inside the ring. A lot of people don't like his style because they like to see blood, war. And he's just, he's just a boxer, you know, he's an impressive boxer. And I, I, I like his style. But, you know, if we ever have to get in the ring, then uh, so be it. Let's make it happen. Absolutely. And, I mean, just to say, when he fought against Amagaza, that was actually candidate for fight of the year, um, Amagaza really pressured him. Do you think that's what you would have to do if you were in the ring with him to, to, to basically elicit an exciting fight? Oh, definitely. My, my, my job right now is I'm, 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 my main focus is Lee Hoskins. I want to take care of business that night in an impressive win. And then uh, everybody at, at 118, 122, maybe 126 are going to know who I am that night. And uh, um, this, that, that night is going to let people know definitely who Randy Caballero is. Okay. And I'll close with asking you this, man. So who were some of your favorite fighters? Who were you inspired by coming up? You know what? I, I don't have one in particular. You know, I, I love watching a lot of a lot of great fighters that came out of the sport of boxing. You know, I love picking little things by, by each fighter. The one person, you know, I've always looked up to is uh, Alexa Vail. 
being the fact that he's, he's a great fighter inside and outside the ring, he's a great guy. You know, I, I had the opportunity to meet him. It was such a great experience, and, uh, and to be a part of, you know, a Nicaraguan heritage feels that much better. Okay. So, any prediction for the fight on November 21st against Lee Haskins? Knockout, decision what? Very, 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 very action-packed fight. I'm excited for that fight. I can't wait to see it. I know everybody else is, being the fact that it's Mexico, uh, Puerto Rico rivalry. Um, just to be a part of it is going to be amazing. But uh, I think that fight in particular is going to be an action-packed fight. I, I honestly do think being uh, Canelo is just hungry young and, and just wants to come back on top where he belongs. I think he's going to come out victorious. You know, Cotto, whatever Cotto shows up, you know, he could come, come. you know, that old Cotto, or he could come that, that young, hungry Cotto that he was back in the day, and, and, which is going to make it an action packed fight. So I'm excited for that fight, but uh, I actually do think uh, Canelo will take this one. Are you okay? So you are picking Canelo, and you took my last question. And I, I got to ask, I got to throw one more in before I let you go. So who's more? Who has more pressure to win that fight, Cotto or Canelo? You know what, Cotto, I think Cotto, this is his make it or break it, but if he wins, he keeps going. If he doesn't, then, you know, we don't know where, how far his career can go from there. This could be his last fight if he loses. Um, you know, Cotto, uh, Canelo is young. He's only 25 years old. He's done a lot in the sport of boxing, being only 25 years old. So I think, you know, I think this win has to go for Canelo because he has such a big future ahead of him. Like I said, he's only 25 years old, so there's still a lot more things he thinks he can accomplish. As for as for Cotto, one of you know my favorite fighters in the sport of boxing, is now we're growing up, but um, you know he is getting at that age where you don't know what what person is going to show up that night. So we'll, we'll see what happens, and uh, I can't wait. All right, man. I want to say thank you for your time. I wish you luck on November 21st. Is there anything else you want to say to the fans? No, I just want to say thank you to all my fans. Thank you, you guys. Get my name out there. Let people know who I am. And uh, you're not going to want to miss November 21st. Watch me defend my title. I'm not going over. It's going to stay wrapped on my way. Ready to put on a great performance in front of everybody. And uh, if you guys want, follow me on Instagram. At Randy and Mr. All right, man. Thank you for your time, man. Good luck on November 21st, man. I appreciate it. All right. Take care, man. Thank you, Dante. Thank you, Cecilia. All right. All right. Thanks. Take care, guys. Bye, everyone. All right. Have a good weekend. Bye. All right.